Hi everybody, this is Lauren of Plan Mosh Plan. Welcome back to another plan with me. Uh, this week I'm doing a plan with me uh, for the week of December 16th with this kit from Hello Petite Paper. I think it's called Christmas Wishes. Um, I am, oh, also I should mention, I used all these Paper Shire stickers with it, uh, which is why I'm showing you. So um, I did something kind of different than what I usually do. Uh, well, a couple things different really. I used... Um, I didn't use any foil this week, which is wild. I don't think I've done that in, I don't know, at least a, two years maybe. <laughs> at, le at the very least a year. I know this is the first spread in this planner with no foil. And then I also did that more plan as, I call it my plan as you go style. Just what that means to me is actually gibberish probably to anybody else. But that just means that I didn't put the full boxes um, within the like, designated slots in the Erin Condren for full boxes. I just kind of scattered them throughout the spread. And then I used almost entirely stickers from uh, Paper Shire instead of kind of pulling a bunch of different stickers from um, different shops. I think I used maybe a couple stick. I used, oh, I'm looking at it. I used a Fox and Pip sticker. Um, I used a couple, couple Hello Petite Paper stickers that weren't... Um, from the kit, but really it, I just kind of kept it to those two shops and it's, I actually really like how the spread turned out and it was super fun to do. It was so quick. Normally when I, um, when I plan, I don't on, since I've moved into this apartment, which is like a year and a half now, I have not prioritized my sticker organization here. I used to have a pretty organized sticker solution, um, before I moved here, but Anyways, that has, I think that really slows me down when I'm trying to pick out stickers for a spread and um, doing it this way where I just kind of like had only the Paper Shire holiday stickers that I was using or Christmas stickers that I was using made it go really fast. So um, yeah, I really like how it turned out. Um, I also said to, there was someone who commented, my last spread that I put up was um, a Hello Petite paper spread and that one was also kind of different than what I usually do in that I did a like plum paper planner kind of like I actually planned ahead like my Christmas week and kind of sorted that out first on camera in my plum paper and then I did like a plan ahead video right after that um or like in the same go at the same time in my Erin Con my 2020 2020 Erin Condren with the Hello Petite paper kit and I was kind of talking about how I bought um stickers specifically for like to match the style of the Hello Petite paper kit and some of them were the Paper Shire ones and they actually came in the mail so that was great I got to use them all with this kit which is what I really was hoping um but someone asked me in the comments they were like you're talking you talk about how you buy like she's like I'm new to planning you talk you're talking about how you buy specific stickers um to like match with sticker kits or whatever like what do you mean by that how do you do that I'd, uh, I'd like to know more about how you shop for stickers um and to me, I was like, oh, okay. I, I answered her in the comments, but I thought I would kind of pull that, my answer out of the comments and talk about it here because a couple people had liked her um, comment asking. So I think for me, um, I, I've been doing, like I said, I've been doing this for a really long time and I, I've built up this really large collection of stickers. And when I started, well, when I started, I didn't use any kind of icons or anything. It was pretty much all labels. And then I started buying icons um, in addition to labels and I used to just like really kind of doodly colorful icons and then sticker kits started happening after that. So I started buying kits too and trying to mix the icons with the kits. And now, you know, years later I have, I buy a lot of, um, uh, foil wasn't really a thing back then, but now I buy a lot of foil icons and sometimes the icons that I buy that are foiled are, um, really small and dainty, like from Paper Blush Bar, or maybe they're more like, um, I don't know, more like standard looking, but they have a bow on them, like Crafts by Towie or Paper Muse Crafts, but even those are different sizes, or maybe there's color to them, um, they've got some sort of color, and then there's just a small portion of them that are foiled, like Tasseled Planner, or there's, um, you know, maybe they're just icons that don't have any, any kind of foiling on them at all. Like maybe it's, uh, more of a hand-drawn kind of sticker, like from GP Sticker Studio or White Deer Stationery. Well, I'd say White Deer Stationery is more of a like doodled looking sticker. Um, 
or Fox and Pip, who has, like, a doodle kind of character to it, or, like, these paper shower ones are super, super cartoony and doodly looking. Um, Hello Petite Paper is kind of sweeter and softer style, but same thing. Anyways, I, there's, like, I could go on and on about all the different kinds of stickers I have and I buy, but they're all kind of different, right? So, when I'm looking at a sticker kit, I try and I've kind of, t- I feel like I've touched on this before, but I kind of try to like look at my collection and what I have and kind of try and match, um, it may be a bunch of different shops or just a couple of different shops, or maybe it's not even by shop, maybe it's by individual sticker, but I try and match the style of the stickers that I'm using, the icons and the stickers that I'm pulling in into the spread like and into like well let me rephrase that I try and match the style of the stickers that I'm pulling in which for me tends to be mostly icons I try and match that to whatever the style of the kit is so for like Hello Petite Paper who does really pretty like doodly kind of um kits or whatever then that's that's what I would I'm trying to do here I'm trying to pull more doodly kind of stickers in whereas like paper blush bar who does these really like pretty soft delicate watercolor florals like kits I try and pull in like smaller delicate her kits are super foiled like foiled stickers so anyways there's just a little bit about that and my thought process I'm not great at it I think there's a lot of room for me to improve but I do tend to like my spreads the best when they are more cohesive rather than when I'm just being like oh I need a coffee sticker pull in any coffee any coffee sticker that like matches or any coffee sticker that matches the right color I like to pull this style in too I tend to like those spreads better okay I'm like halfway through Monday here um I do realize uh, on Tuesday that I didn't zoom in, so that's coming. I will zoom in in a second, but this week was really crazy, um, with meetings. I had, my company does kind of like a shutdown week, the week of Christmas, which means that all the meetings that I was supposed to have Christmas, I kind of had to pull forward, or I pushed like one or two back, but for the most part, I wanted to get ahead, so I pulled them forward, so I had a crazy amount of meetings this week. It was like five or six a day, um, so I'm marking that, um, here. I did, uh, five meetings on Monday and I marked that with a, like, little box from Paper Shire. I had a ton of mail to pick up just for Black Friday stuff, whatever, holiday gifts. Um, so that mailbox sticker, again, kind of a doodly one, <laughs> is from White Deer Stationery. And then I just put down... Uh, the ha- the full box and the glitter header. I put down a little bow divider from Paper Shire um, and just to kind of take up some space because I didn't do a whole lot. And then I marked that I was at work until seven o'clock with a, f- a freebie from Hello Petite Paper. And then I marked going to bed early with a stocking uh, from Paper Shire. Most of this stuff truly is from Paper Shire if it's not from Hello Petite Paper. So I'm probably going to try not to say from paper shire as much because literally that's all I used all like it's I feel like you can probably tell the difference between the hello petite paper stickers and the paper shire stickers right I don't know maybe not um okay so on Tuesday I worked from home um I let's see here I'm trying to I don't have my plum paper planner in front of me which is what I generally use to like (laughs) actually talk about my day because it has a lot more details than what I put into this planner. Um, but anyways, okay. I worked from home. I was taking a training course for, um, this program that I use at work. I really like the program and I, um, enjoy kind of keeping up with whatever the latest, uh, updates they make to it and whatever, just cause it makes my job a lot easier if I am an expert at the program. Um, so that took up, took up about half the day taking that course. And then, Um, so I'm marking that with the paper shire kind of post-it note sticker and then I'm using this Hello Petite paper laptop to kind of cover up the stars in the corner and put that instead and then oh the cup of coffee that joy cup of coffee which I think is adorable for Christmas is um, also from the the kit I used a lot of the like deco um, from the kit to like do to mark stuff this week as in addition to the paper shire ones Um, Okay, I only had one meeting this day um, that I had to call in for, so I marked that with, um, I don't, I never know what to call these, it's kind of like a label, right, because it's not a quarter box, Uh, it does look very crooked though, 
it looks less crooked when I'm looking at it in person. <laughs> um, and then the bow I think was from, can't remember, maybe the freebie or maybe the deco. I'm not sure. I marked filming a plan with me with the paper shire, um, planner. And then I, I don't know why I did. I don't normally do this where I like combine two totally separate things into the same stickers just for no reason. Um, but my sister was flying in, um, for the holidays this day and then we also had like a home apartment inspection that we had scheduled so I was going to use like a home sticker for both of those so I was like I might as well just use the flag and like I just layered a couple flags and then I just used one apartment or home sticker to mark both of those things um which is fine it turned out fine <laughs> and then okay um, I'm marking that it was one of my friend's birthdays, so I took a little thing and layered one of the presents from the kit over top of it. I think that present is so cute. I love the like kind of spotty Dalmatian-y kind of paper. And then I had six meetings this day, which was just a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of meetings, um, especially to like, I don't know, I say this all the time, but like a big part of my job is definitely like having meetings and conducting meetings but like I ha I have a lot of work to do too like on top of that and it's hard to get it done when you're in that many hours of meetings a day um okay so all those meetings were kind of in the morning and then um I put down that mistletoe or holly berry kind of divider and then I wrote that um I did a haichu challenge which is kind of random but one of my coworkers, well I don't know the the past couple months it's felt like um there have been high chews, which are those like they're candies. I think they're they're Asian. I don't know if they're Chinese or Japanese or what whatever, but they are like almost like Starburst, but they're chewier. If you've never had one, I don't know. And they come in a bunch of different flavors. And there's like the standard ones that you can pick up at like a lot of convenience stores and stuff. And then there's also like crazy flavors that they're not crazy, but they're like you know like just not standard flavors. And my coworker was doing this thing where he like put seven of them on a plate and labeled them like one through seven, but he didn't tell you what the flavors were. And then you were supposed to guess. And I did, I, so I did it that day, like after all my meetings were done in the afternoon and I did pretty well. I got four of them out of seven of them. Correct. I think. And a couple of them, I was close, but like just got straight, like I got led the wrong direction for whatever reason. Anyway. So that was the whole thing. And then um, I still had a lot of work to do that day. So I was at work until nine o'clock. And then I came home, like took a shower, ate dinner, whatever. I didn't mark this, but, and then I was up until like one thirty in the morning, continuing to work. And the day before that on Tuesday, I was up until like midnight working. I was just literally, I was trying so hard to get as much as I could done before the, like the shutdown week. So I could have a really chill shutdown week and just have to answer emails and stuff without having to like, do a crazy amount of like work and be stressed out on like Christmas Eve and stuff. Um, okay. So on to Thursday, I marked, I had five meetings on Thursday with a half box up top. And then I kind of did some meal prep and cooked for the second half of the week. Um, this little kitchen aid mixer with the hat is the Santa hat. So cute. So I marked that. And then, um, like I had mentioned, I went to sleep at one thirty on Wednesday night and I think midnight or whenever I stopped working the night before so I was super tired so I marked going to bed early with this Fox and Pip girl and because that was pretty much all I did on Thursday literally like had meetings uh cooked did some meal prep and then I went to bed um I just put some presents at the very bottom just to kind of fill up some space um, okay, on Friday, I just wanted to use this little cute, like, ornament holly berry wreath thing, or garlands. It's so cute, um, up top, and then I marked it was another one of my friend's birthdays. I marked it the same way that I did on Wednesday. I had five meetings again on Friday, which is very abnormal. I try very hard not to have that many meetings on Fridays, or just to have, like, one or two if I need to, but, uh, I had to do it that way because of people's PTO, so... That was the whole thing, um, but they were fine. They got over it again pretty early, I think. Um, so I marked that with a paper shire, a little hot chocolate mug. So cute. Um, I should have marked this beforehand, but I 
don't know why I didn't. I forgot, maybe, <laughs> or I wasn't looking ahead. I also went into work really early that day because my meeting started early. Um, I had five of them, and they were pretty much all with people who were on the East Coast, so um, I had to start earlier than I normally did, so I marked going into work early, and then um, I put down a half box that has a bunch of presents in it because it was um well my sister and my dad both have birthdays in December so and my sister had flown home um you know whatever day I marked it down Tuesday night so my mom hosted a big dinner party at um, her house or my parents house for my dad and my sister uh some of my cousins had flown in everybody was there it was so much fun I literally I can't stress this enough I say it all the time I have the best family in the world they are amazing they're so much fun um my just everyone's so generous and like we love to drink and laugh and have a good time and all that and my mom made lamb and chicken and just so much food it was amazing it was really fun and then we were like (laughs) just drinking a lot of wine got pretty tipsy, played Never Have I Ever with my parents for the first time. That was an experience. <laughs> that was an experience. My cousin's husband was like, let's, have you guys ever played Never Have I Ever? Like, let's play. And like everyone who was like under the age of 30 was like, oh my God, no, <laughs> like we're not playing this with our parents. And then we did and it was, it was fun. It was fine. Um, but anyways, that was just a really fun night. And then I slept over there, I think, after that. So I put the, I made this, like, I don't know if I love it or if it's really ugly. I haven't decided yet, but the weekend banner that I kind of put down that we can't see anymore. But anyways, put that down um, on the weekend, for the weekend. And then I put down the half box here. And then I'm marking that I had um, breakfast at home. My mom made bagels and we lit a fire in the living room. And my family was all just kind of drinking coffee and snuggling in the in our like living room and whatever having breakfast together so I hung out there for a little bit and then after that I had so many like presents to still shop for um I like I'm such a procrastinator with this kind of stuff I love so much of my holiday shopping so I marked the breakfast at home and then I um, my sisters were going to go to like Target because my sister was moving into her new apartment. So she wanted to buy some stuff. And originally I was like, okay, I'll come too. And then we got down the driveway and I was like, I'm just going to drive myself to go shopping because I need to, <laughs> I don't have time to go to Target. So, um, I'm marking the holiday shopping with, I took one of the labels and I cut off, um, the little gold part cause I just didn't want it to extend the full width of the box. And then I, put the one of the present deco pieces from the kit over top which I thought was super cute um I love that present and then I um so I did I went to a bunch of stores you know whatever anthropology Sephora Nordstrom Apple store a bunch of stores there and then I had to go to a separate kind of shopping center that's less of like more of like a I don't know whatever I had to go to Michael's so um Originally, I just wanted to buy some picture frames, but all of their holiday, like, wrapping and decor was super on sale, so I ended up buying a bunch of that, so I marked it with a a little, like, holiday tag. I thought that was really cute, like, a present, a gift tag from the deco, and then I also just marked winter solstice. (laughs) Like, I don't know. I just, it doesn't really go with the holiday tag or anything or the Michael's experience, but I get very excited about winter solstice because I hate short days. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And I hate when days are getting shorter and shorter and winter solstice where all of a sudden now the days are going to start getting longer. That is such a like glass half full positive outlook. And I'm so here for it. And I just really appreciate winter solstice. So, um, marked that. Um, okay. On to Sunday. I slept in on Sunday. I think I needed it after, uh, you know, the whole week that I had of staying up way too late and then, you know, drinking on Friday, so probably didn't get that great of sleep, whatever. Um, I also marked wrapping gifts. That, again, that really cute pile of presents is from uh, Paper Shire, as well as most of the other, all the other stickers, really, that I used that weren't from the kit. Um, so I had all that stuff from Michael's that I bought, and it was, like, it took me days to wrap all the presents, because I was doing, like, I'm sitting there, like, cutting up different, like, holiday picks of florals and berries and gluing you know taping them all up and whatever so 
that was like a big project on Sunday. I also filmed and edited a plan with me and then I put the uh, full box down and put another one of the little bow dividers from Paper Shire underneath to take up some space. So this is the full spread. I really like how it turned out. It's totally something different for me. Um, originally my plan this year was to have two different Erin Condrens and do more experimental spreads like this one that are just different from my usual in the second Erin Condren, but I didn't end up having enough time to keep up with that obviously. So I love, I really liked this kit and I just wanted to put it in my like everyday planner to look back on forever so I ended up putting it in my regular planner even though it's very different than what I usually do um but I really like it I think it's fun to try something different every once in a while and just like you know keep yourself interested try something new you know so um anyways that is the spread I really appreciate you watching I hope you had a really really happy holidays uh as always please feel free to comment down below I love um talking to you guys in the comments and um yeah, follow me on Instagram too while I'm sitting here plugging myself. <laughs> That's all. Thanks guys. Bye.